Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode here of Ark Survival Evolved coming at you from the island. Thank you so much, as always, for all of your lovely support in the last episode, my friends. I very much do appreciate it. Of course, if you want to continue with the lovely support, go ahead and drop a like on the video. But of course, if you want to go one further and be an absolute MVP, use code Python in ordering any sneak energy drinks or to get 5% off any of my Apex gaming PCs. So then, in the last episode, I was wondering what the devil the Red Skull and Crossbones is. It uh, turns out it's like swamp fever and you need to use a lesser antidote on it. Now unfortunately, I don't actually have the resources for it. Well, I have the narcotics, I have the rare flowers, I even have the rare mushrooms. What we don't have is leech blood and that is what we're going to be needing. So we need to start off with a small adventure to try to kill some leeches and get their leech blood. Let's grab ourselves a crossbow, one of our decent crossbows, and we'll have normal killing arrows on it. And uh, yeah, we will get to work. Also in today's episode, just to quickly mention, we will be beginning on our greenhouse build. It's about time. We have the crystal, we have the metal, and we have the cementing paste, of course. There's no reason to delay any further. That we will be making a greenhouse in today's episode and it's going to be the first ever time I do so and I'm actually pretty excited for it because I'm excited to see by what margin it speeds up crop growth by because if it's a lot then I really would have been sleeping on the whole idea of greenhouses and then I'll probably be kicking myself for it. <laughs> hey, hey, so here we are my friends. We can take our Argentavis, carry Bob the Bielzy Buffo over to a swamp and then kick some booty over at the swamp. Hopefully a bunch of leech booty. Do leeches even have booties? Well, if they did, then we're going to kick them. Uh, and yeah, we're going to sell some leech blood. So let's get this thing on the road. You know what? It's pretty much on the way to our destination. So I am going to see what's in this purple loot crate. Okay. So come on, buddy. Come on. Gimme, gimme, gimme. What do we got here? It is an apprentice patchy saddle. Um, sure. Okay. Yay! More cementing paste. Cheers, Budski. Well, there was another buggy just over here, wasn't there? Yeah, there was. Eh, eh. Come over here, buggy. Come here. There you go. Cementing base for your boy. For any of you guys interested, Swamp Fever simply drains a whole bunch of your stats. We only have 304 health. 80 stamina, way less carry weight, less melee damage. It just basically nerfs your character by quite a lot. So, um, yeah, we want to get that antidote and we want to consume it now. I want my stats back, man. Well, as always, my friends, as always, when you go actively looking for something, it never shows up. Not seen one leech yet, but I have been going ahead and getting myself a bit more cementing paste from some little buggies. So, you know, this whole thing hasn't not been worth it. I just wouldn't mind having this thing be sped up a little bit, you know? Ooh, hold on a minute, guys. Yeah, there's a leechy boy. Uh, right, I'm pretty sure... Oh, yeah, I did see another one. Oh, that's like several, in fact. Hey, buddy. There's another leech. There's another leech. That's another leech. Wow, you get chitin, meat, and silica pearls from those guys too? Wow. Turns out, leeches are actually pretty dang valuable. So there's another one. Hey, come on. Come on. There you go. Get wrecked, you son of a gun. All right, well, uh, yeah. I guess that's quest complete, eh? Yeah, look at that leech blood. We've got, what, 157? Where do you go away, you stupid piranha? I put the last laugh, didn't he? What a son of a gun. So according to the wiki, ladies and gentlemen, it turns out the lesser antidote is in fact the only thing that can be crafted with the leech blood. But also the leech blood can apparently be used as bait for fishing. Now fishing is something I've never actually done in this game, so... I don't know, maybe at some point in the series we'll have to change that, huh? But anyways, at the end of the day, we have our little goal here done. And I feel like it is high time we get ourselves back. We get this antidote, we go ahead, get rid of this stupid bleeding debuff. And uh, we're going to get on with our greenhouse. So there we have it. We have the leech blood. We need the rare flowers and rare mushrooms. Uh, oh, we've got only just enough rare flowers here, guys. And then we also need narcotics, right? Uh, 64 of the buggers. Right, uh, temporarily, we're just going to go ahead and uh, use this little thing as our antidote crafting station. And there we have it. 
Just the one? Holy guacamole, that takes a long time to craft. Wow! Okay. Well, maybe at some point we could go ahead and, uh, you know, make several of these. Because, you know, no matter where we are, if we get inflicted with something not good, we can get rid of that something that's not good, right? Rare flowers are pretty easily obtainable via the Therizino as well. If we find ourselves a rare flower node, then, uh, yeah, we can get quite a lot of rare flowers at once. Rare mushrooms, though, they are mostly gotten from, what, crystals? Not even entirely sure about other places. I don't know. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, let's get rid of this stupid debuff. Consumed. There we go. Yeah, baby. Wait, we've got ourselves a skin out of that. Vampire eyes skin. Yeah. All right, let's have a look at ourselves. Oh, my. <laughs> Ooh, I look a bit strange, don't I? That is very menacing, isn't it? Oh, it's animated as well. Uh, I feel very strange about this. I'm not entirely sure if I like that or not. I feel like it's a bit creepy. All right, so quickly flicking through all of these crafting recipes here for the greenhouse-related building materials. I do believe that my limiting factor is probably going to be crystal itself, my friends. I mean, we've got quite a lot of uh, cementing paste going on here. In fact, we've got well over a thousand, would you believe? So we could chuck all of that in there. But yeah, like I say, crystal. It's not something we have a lot of, and I've already transferred the crystals from the fabricator over here. So yeah, 353 is the amount we have. We can get ourselves a bunch of metal ingots from sort of all over the place, actually. But yeah, the fact of the matter is this. We are going to need ourselves way more crystals. So we may have to do a little bit of a trip with Abe the Ankylo here and Adam the Argentavis, just so we can get ourselves just a whole crystal haul. And then yeah, I think we'll be good from then, all right? Come on then, Abe! But let's go get ourselves some crystal, and the easiest place to get crystal, or more to the the point the nearest place to get crystal is actually at the snow biome here literally like as soon as we get into the snow biome there's already a few crystal nodes to be had all right come on there laddie let's go get ourselves some crystal hey <laughs> 100 okay 375 684 962 that's a that's a lot of crystal oh uh, sure man that's even more crystal. That's even more crystal. Oil? Uh, okay. Wow. Oh, interesting. Turns out the crystal weight is, in fact, not reduced on the ankylosaur here. Uh, that could prove to be an issue. Uh, what about if we were to put it on our Argentavis instead? I'm pretty sure he reduces it by, I think, half. Yeah, there we have it. Reduces it to half. So actually, that's not too bad. So we may have to just sort of transfer inventories a little bit here. But uh, no matter. We can get this thing done in one way or another, my friends. Yeah, I think that'll be a good amount, my friends. There's, what, maybe at an estimate, maybe about 2,000-ish crystal there. <laughs> yes. This, this is why you go ahead and get a pack mule and an ankylo as the dream team. <laughs> oh, it works so good. <laughs> and we were worried about not having enough resources here, guys. Yeah. 2,200 crystal and nearly 1,500 cementing paste. Probably going to be enough to make a good sized greenhouse here, my friends. So... My thinking is that we go ahead and make ourselves stone foundations. We use that as a foundation, and then we make the greenhouse on top of it, okay? Nice and simple. So, stone, thatch, wood are all required, and we're pretty much just gonna, I don't know, maybe make the greenhouse over here. So, I'm making enough stone foundations here for a 6x4 platform, which is actually pretty darn big. That's probably around-ish the same size as our breeding house that we made earlier in the series. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to get this thing done, and I'm excited to see it finished as well. I really, really am. Three, four, five, and six. That's two, three, and four. And now we join up and do all the middle bits of epicness. Oh, this is going to be a substantial build here, my friends. Yeah. All right, very, very nice. All right, so we've got ourselves a good-sized platform here. All we need to do is start on the creation 
of the greenhouse related building materials. So then, time to make a start my friends. We are just going to have a nice simple build. There's really nothing too extravagant to be had here. It's just going to look like a traditional greenhouse with a proper A-frame roof and then we'll have two double doors at the entrance just so we've got plenty of ways to get in. So let's get the remainder of this wall in. We also need to of course bear in mind that we need ourselves maybe a couple more walls I think. Uh, then we can get on with the little double door frames. One there, one right there. And then, of course, we've got ourselves the doors themselves. Oh, snap. <laughs> this is so epic. I can't believe we're actually doing this for the first time. Uh, then we pop on over here and we do our A-frame roof thingy. So, a little bit of that. And then once everything else is crafted up in the smithy, we should be able to get the remainder of this build done. And then, yeah, we'll be able to actually see what exactly it is the greenhouse is capable of doing in terms of speeding up our crop growth, okay? Hey, guys, check it out as well. I wonder if we're going to be able to hit 100 levels by the end of today's episode. I mean, our XP bar is very, very almost full at this point. So, uh... It's not going to take much, guys. It really isn't going to take that much. But anyways, let's uh, go ahead and uh, get this build finished. Let's put the remaining walls on. One right there. One right there. And then, of course, we've got the sloped roof bit. Okay. And then we've got the left-hand side here. Got a little bit of that. Got a little bit of that. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have all of the sloped roofs. And this is where things really start to get cool. Because the build is going to feel more complete as we go along. I can't believe we've actually done this, guys. We've actually got... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. We're actually going to have a greenhouse on our world. I have literally been on about this goal for quite literally years. And here we are actually completing it there we have it oh this is just brutal <laughs> oh i'm actually so happy about this i'm genuinely chuffed that we finally got this goal done i really have been on about it for years but here we are getting it done have i ever been so excited about a building arc Probably not, I'll be honest. But like I said, when you've been on about something for a few years and you finally actually get it done, it does feel kind of nice. Like, the amount of relief I'm feeling is pretty darn high right now. So, all we've got to do is just spruce up the entrance a little bit, maybe get a couple of uh, stairs and railings in, and then that's it. The greenhouse is ready to have crop plots put in there. I mean, it's not like we didn't get a whole bunch of crop plot blueprints previously. I mean, I must admit, I have discarded all of the duplicates, but um, yeah, still, the point stands. We've still got the blueprint. So then, just crafting up a few final bits and bobs, and I tell you what, while it's doing that, let's do the comment of the day. Today, it comes from Fandom Fanboy, who asks, Hey, Python, are you going to do some more aquatic tames in the future? Absolutely. I mean, I've mentioned it before. I've mentioned it again. This is a series where there are no limits, okay? Yeah, we've kind of got the loose goal of trying to take down all of the bosses, maybe even at alpha level. Who knows how it will go? I've no idea. But this is also going to be the series of trying things out for the first time. There's a whole bunch of uh, aquatic creatures that I just haven't tamed yet. You know, for example, that giant octopus guy, the Tuso, I think it's called. Uh, I've never tried making an underwater base before. I'm pretty sure that's capable with some of the tech stuff you can get. Like, there's lots of cool things still to come in the series, my friends. Like, yeah, we're making a lot of progress in terms of taming a whole bunch of creatures. But believe me... There's still a lot to come in this series, my friend. So, yeah, don't you worry about it. we got a lot of stuff still to come, like I say. But anyways, as you can see, we now have access to this place. And we have ourselves a bunch of wall torches. And we can now start spreading these things along. And then we're going to have ourselves a nice little uh, light source in here. And it's going to be amazing. So, let's have ourselves another light source there. Another light source here. And then maybe we could spread them sort of along the bottom here. Look at it, my friends. Just look at it. A whopping great greenhouse ready to be populated with crop plots. And you know what? There's only one kind of crop plot I'm going to be putting in here. And that's a large one. Oh, snappers. So we're going to have ourselves fiber, stone, thatch, and wood. And then we'll see just how much of this we can fill with crop plots. Now, of course, we also need to bear in mind we need irrigation in here uh, in order to provide water uh so yeah uh-huh stone and wood 
pretty simple, right? I must admit, it's not actually that often that I make large crop plots, but uh, here we go. We are doing it, and it's awesome. So let's see how much space we're actually going to wind up uh, filling up here. Oh, wow, that is actually pretty big. All right, well, uh, we could put one there. We could put one there, and we could put one there. And uh, that has taken up almost half of this entire thing. I think we can get seven crop plots on either side, right? So if we had another three, and then one sort of squished in the middle here. Uh, I mean, alternatively, we don't need to squish one on the middle. Maybe this is where the taps are to go ahead and irrigate this place, right? Huh. That would still grant us the ability to have quite a few crop plots in here. Guys, check it out. There it is. We are now about to hit level 100. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And to quickly remind ourselves of what is unlocked at level 100, the Titanosaur Platform Saddle. Of course, I'm going to unlock it. That could be a bit of a stretch goal for the series. Who knows, my friends? A Titanosaur Platform Base. That'll be pretty epic, huh? Alrighty, guys. So I'm just getting some resources now to get the irrigation side of things going. Uh, I think we're going to need two intakes and then probably a whole bunch of pipes as well. Can we get flexible pipes? Uh, yeah, there we are. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, baby. All right, so I guess we're going to have to go ahead and uh, source some water. Uh, probably from just over here. Right, so we start off with the intake. There's probably going to be a way, way better looking way of doing it than what I'm doing right now. Uh, but uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll just we'll just see what we can do, I guess. That's a whole lot of pipes that we probably don't need. I'm going to make 30 of them. And then we'll just basically see how it goes. Um, guys, I think I've made a stupid mistake. I didn't check to see if these things were irrigated already. They are. I must admit, I was wondering how you would go ahead and lead a water source in here. As you can see, there's a pipe out there. And I haven't been able to, like, attach a tap to the end of it, which is what you would typically do if it was outside. So, yeah, check it out as well. We've got 300% greenhouse effect, which is actually the maximum greenhouse effect you can have, which basically means that we get, what, triple the yield and quite a bit faster of a growth rate in here. So, all we need is fertilizer, which temporarily we're just going to use poop, right? And then we just need to put some seeds down. And then we've done it. Well, there's only one way to get quite a lot of poop uh, very, very quickly. I'm sorry, buddy. You're going to absolutely hate me. Look at the freaking food going down so quick. <laughs> That's 13. I'm going to go ahead and just keep going and going and going, guys. Oh, my goodness. An absolute poop machine, this guy. <laughs> oh, it's so dumb. I love that we have just a poop machine here. Like, it's so easy to just get loads of it and therefore loads of fertilizer. <laughs> Oh, fill the fee, Omia. You're the absolute MVP for us right now, buddy. All right, one, two, that's 15,000 units of fertilizer. Uh, sure. Good amount, if you ask me. Oh, oh we get absolutely covered in poop. Not cool, boo-boo, not cool. <laughs> so with 30,000 units of fertilizer in each of these large crop plots, the time has come. We need to start filling these bad boys up with some actual crops, okay? So I'm thinking each of these little banks here has different crop types, okay? So we've got things like lemons, potatoes, carrots to do. Uh, and then obviously we've got narco berries, maybe media berries, maybe stim berries. I don't know, man. We could have like a big variety of stuff in here. Maybe we could have like, I don't know, three narco berries because obviously we need a lot of those for our various narcotics. And then I guess we just sort of split all the other ones across all the other types of crops you can get. So let's go ahead and grab Trixie here and let's grab a whole ton of seeds. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a pretty significant amount of seeds in our inventory here, enough to get ourselves pretty well established with some crops. 
So, I'll tell you what, we're going to start off here with a narco berry seed. We're going to have a second narco berry plot and a third narco berry plot. The faster we get narco berries, the faster we can get narcotics and therefore be able to make more tranquilizer darts, okay? So yeah, that's all cool. Maybe in this one, we can have ourselves all of the different things here. We've got citronals. We have ourselves long grass. We also have ourselves carrots, the rock carrots, and finally, of course, the Savo Root Potatoes. I think we'll have ourselves three loads of uh, Mija Berries here as well. And then, maybe in this corner, we can have all of the different types of berries. So, we'll have Amar Berries, we'll have ourselves Azul Berries, we will also have ourselves a little bit of a Stimberry Plant, and finally, a Tinto Berry Plant. So there we have it. We now have all of our plants sorted out. The rest of the seeds can go in this tiny little chest here. And then the harvest can eventually go inside of these big old chests in the center here. So yeah, guys. Hey, hey. pretty awesome, isn't it? Pretty dang awesome. All we have to do is just sort of wait for these things to grow now. And then we'll have ourselves a pretty good looking greenhouse, if you ask me. Hey, guys, anyone else kind of like this? The tree has grown through the storage chest. And yet we can still access all of the storage chests. You know? A little bit of greenery in here. I think it works a tree. <laughs> oh, do you know what? It says irrigated, but it says water zero. Maybe we do still need to put water in these things. Ah, uh, I don't know how to do it, though. Like, nothing seems to attach to these flexible cables. I don't get it. I really, really don't. Maybe for now we just manually do it? Oh, this is going to take a while, isn't it? Needless to say, my friends, because this is only the first time I'm ever working with a greenhouse, if you guys have any tips or suggestions regarding the irrigation in here, then uh, do, of course, let me know. Like, for example, me putting water in here manually, like, is that going to do the job forever? Or are we going to need other things? I don't really know if I'm being honest with you guys. I really, really don't. Yeah, look, the water is definitely going down. Look at that. It's down to 97 units now. I just don't understand why I'm not able to put a tap coming off of the uh, flexible thing here. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. But now, though, my friends, we have our goal complete and a long-standing goal at that. We now have ourselves a greenhouse with a very, very healthy-looking amount of crops. And it looks amazing, my friends. So, that is indeed going to wrap it up for today's episode episode. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. If you have enjoyed today's episode, and of course you're excited to see more, do be sure, of course, to drop a like below the video. Hit the subscribe button if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, thanks for watching. Do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!